Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're gonna cover how to use the area tool to complete a square foot, cubic yard, and roof square foot takeoff. Let's get started. Before you can use the area tool, make sure you set a proper scale. To learn how to set that scale, simply reference our How to Set a Scale video in our How-To Video Series. Once you've set the scale, let's go ahead and select the area. From here, we can simply provide a name. For this example, we're going to go ahead and calculate out the square footage of our master bedroom. We're going to also select the area type as standard area because that's what we're wanting to calculate. In our next example, you'll see us calculate roof area and also cubic yards. Let's go ahead and select standard area. From here, we can select a random color. And then we can also enter a price per square foot. For this example, we're going to select $2. Next, we can raise our transparency. How this works is if we raise it up to 10, it'll be a lot less transparent and we will not be able to see any of the items drawn underneath. If we lower it to zero, it'll be more transparent and we'll be able to see everything and barely be able to see the area drawn. For this example, we're gonna keep it right here in the middle at five. Let's go ahead and hit start. Once we select start, we can go ahead and start clicking around the inside of our master bedroom. We'll go ahead and select our start point and then we can simply go over and select all of our points as need be. As we click around the room, we can go ahead and go back to our original point to stop the measurement. From here, we can see that we have 245.57 square feet. We can go ahead and also stop the measurement here by simply selecting the stop button or selecting the escape key. Next, we're gonna go ahead and jump over to our roof plan. From our roof plan, we wanna go ahead and calculate roof area. As we can see within this roof plan, we can see that this is a 712 pitch. Just as we did before, we're gonna simply select the area tool. We're gonna to say roof area. We're gonna go ahead and select our roof area. And then from here, we can select our pitch in half pitch increments from one to 2412. Let's go ahead and select that 712. Select once again a color. And then at this point here, we'll go ahead and enter in the same square foot price. And then from here, we'll go ahead and hit start. At this point, just as we did with the uh, master bedroom area, we're gonna simply click around, calculate out our square footage. We're gonna calculate each and every plane individually. And as we do this, once we click back to the origin point, it will allow for us to continue on to the next point. If by chance we forget and we click on the wrong areas, we can always select the option tool and underneath here, select our undo button. This will allow for us to back up our clicks. Now that we've drawn out this area here, we'll go ahead and once again hit stop. And we can quickly reference that the total area that has been drawn is 781.87 square feet based off a of 712 pitch. Next, we're gonna jump over to our foundation. From here, we're gonna go ahead and calculate out our garage slab. If we wanna go ahead and calculate how many cubic yards this is, once again, we simply select the area. We select cubic yards, we enter the depth, and for this example, we'll say six inches. We can then also go along and we can select once again the color. And we'll keep this here at a total of $95 a cubic yard. And we'll go ahead and raise our transparency up or down. But once again, for this example, we'll keep it here in the middle. Next, we'll hit start. And we'll go ahead and work our way around here. When we're all done, we can simply hit the stop button. From here, we'll be able to see that we have 17.05 cubic yards. Now that we've completed all these items, you can see these within your reports function located here. You can see it within your takeoff data. And once we simply select this, we can export it to either HTML or we can export it to Excel. For this example, we'll go ahead and export it to HTML. And we're gonna export all. And now you can see these items here that have been calculated. We can see a total, once again, of cubic yards of 17.05, total cost of 95, and our extended price is down here. 
And you can see that each one of these items reference the color and also the page in which these were located on. That's it. Thanks for watching today's video. 